Hamara in the classrooms of Unity. The lessons of freedom are learned. Nothing is more precious than independence and freedom. Being Indian is our identity. However, being a republic is our country's identity. A warm and patriotic welcome to our principal, Reverend Father Runal Vaughan, Reverend Sisters, respected teachers, and my dear friends. We have gathered here today to commemorate the essence of a sovereignty on the 75th Republic Day of India. 26th January is the day when the Republic of India marks and celebrates the date on which the Constitution of India came into effect in the year 1950. We stand proud, not merely as individuals, but as integral threads woven into the vibrant fabric of a democratic republic. Today, we are assembled here not only to honor our past, but also to embrace the responsibilities that came with being a citizen of this diverse nation. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. With this thought, let's express our gratitude and love. On this auspicious day, uniting our hearts in the shared spread of patriotism and reverence. I urge then, first of all, that petition, prayers, intercession and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. Almighty God of heavens and earth, we come before you in humility and give thanks for mercies bestowed upon us and our country, India. Gracious Lord, on this auspicious occasion of Republic Day, we ask your favor and blessings to abound in our country. We ask your grace for moral and spiritual restoration. We lift up before you the leaders of our nation for spiritual guidance, supernatural wisdom and insight to make this nation what you intend it to be. We pray for righteousness and truth to prevail in every part of our country. May our leaders become your instruments for leading the country rightly and do what is best for all the people in the country. Loving God, we plead for the security and prosperity of our country before you. As days become increasingly difficult and dark, we pray that the light of your love will shine on this land. May peace reign in our nation. Guard us from war, from fire and wind, from compromise, fear and confusion. May the spirit of freedom, justice and brotherhood prevail in our country. We ask you to deliver our country from the problems of poverty, injustice, unemployment, fragmentation of society and indiscrimination against people. In the valley of disturbances and turbulences, we pray that you lead us through and strengthen us. We commit this great land and all people in your mighty hand. We ask you to make India a blessing to the world. We ask this prayer in your holy name. Amen.
providence of god god show over us providence of god god show over us providence of god god show over us saint joseph pray for us Republic Day is not just a day off from school. It's a day filled with stories of our nation's heroes and the foundation of our constitution that was adopted on 26 January 1950. Together, our wise leaders created a set of rules that would guide our country. That's exactly what Republic Day is about. A day to remember the dreamers who envision a nation where everyone has equal rights and opportunities just like the roots of a strong tree anchor it firmly to the ground our constitution docks our country in the principles of justice freedom and unity the constitution of india is a document that lays down the fundamental principles and laws of our nation It defines the rights and duties of citizens and establishes the framework for a democracy. It is important to protect and preserve the constitution. It is our duty as citizens to uphold the principles and values laid down in the constitution and to work towards building a stronger and more prosperous nation. Now I call upon our young Josephites to tell you something more about this day through a small presentation. Oh, everything so beautifully color coordinated. Orange, white, green and blue. Hey Erica, I can see you amazed. What happened? All good? Yes, Kia. I was just looking around. I'm thinking how beautiful the tricolors look. Yes, indeed. Anyways, how are we spending your holiday tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yes, it's a holiday. Holiday for what? It's a holiday. Mm, we celebrate this day when Britishers freed us. No, Erica, you are here talking about Independence Day. But tomorrow is Republic Day, my dear. It's one and all same. Hey, Erika. Hey, Erika. Hey, Kaya. What's going on here? Thank God you are here, Ranj. Erika is muddled up between Independence Day and Republic Day. Oh, I see the chaos. So, Erika, the difference between Republic Day and Independence Day is very big. On Independence Day, we got freed from the British rule, but on Republic Day, we got a gift of a rule book. A rule book? Yes. Good morning, ma'am. Ma Good morning, students. Please sit down. What were you discussing about? Teacher, Ansh is telling about some rule book of our country. What is it? After attaining independence from the British rule, there was a need of rules and regulations to be set for the Indians. These rules and regulations are formed by a committee under the leadership of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar in a book. This book is called. Constitution of India the Indian constitution came into effect on 26 January 1950 but teacher why do we celebrate republic day on this day itself 26 January was chosen as the date because in 1930 the Indian National Congress declared Purna Swaraj which means complete independence from the british rule but teacher what is the purpose of constitution in a country the chief purpose of a constitution in a country is to define the freedom and rights for individuals within our country teacher our country is so unique in the world 
it is the only country which has so many religions traditions and languages and still we are united under our constitution over preamble itself says this bhavyansh what is preamble teacher can i tell them yes of course preamble is the soul of constitution and is a reflection of core constitutional values that are there in our constitution yes the constitution of india preamble we the people of india having so lovely resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice liberty equality and fraternity in a constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution so let's all pledge to abide by our constitution jai hind jai hind indeed a gratifying performance this presentation has set the tone for an inspiring and patriotic celebration ahead let's dive into the vibrant world of our school band where passion meets melody and rhythm unites hearts Together we embark on a musical journey that showcases a spectacular band display featuring the incredible talents of our musicians. Time to repeat, सारे जहाँ से अच्छा हिंदुस्तान हमारा. short of words to describe how enthusiastic and energetic that performance was it was just brilliant this performance makes me feel proud of our country even more keep the flame of fitness alive for every child's heartbeat is a reminder we are the future custodians of india's glorious stride integrating yoga into the lives of students from an early age is crucial for fostering a healthy future generation yoga not only enhances physical fitness but also promotes mental health concentration and emotional well-being it lays the foundation for a balanced and mindful approach to life Yoga is like a magical adventure for our bodies and minds. It's not just stretching and bending, it's like a superhero training that makes us feel strong, calm and happy. Just like superheroes have special powers, yoga gives us the power to focus, be kind and stay healthy. So here are some of our superheroes ready to display
सबसे प्यारी सबसे ऊंची तेरी शान गणतंत्र दिवस पर शीश झुकाकर हम करते हैं तुझे प्रणाम हम करते हैं तुझे प्रणाम आदरणीय फादर माननीय सिस्टर्स सम्मान्य शिक्षक गण एवं उज्जवल भविष्य रूपी सितारे मेरे प्यारे बच्चों सर्वप्रथम मैं आज आप सभी का सभी को गणतंत्र दिवस की हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं देती हूँ ये वो दिन है जब हर भारतीय के मन में देशभक्ति की भावना और मातृभूमि के प्रति सम्मान जाग उठता है गणतंत्र दिवस की स्वर्णिम बेला पर मैं खुद को सौभाग्यशाली मानती हूँ कि आज आप सबके समक्ष मुझे देशभक्ति की भावना से ओत प्रोत कुछ शब्द रखने का अवसर प्राप्त हुआ शहीदों का सपना जब सच हुआ शहीदों का सपना जब सच हुआ हिंदुस्तान तब स्वतंत्र हुआ आओ सलाम करें उन वीरों को आओ सलाम करें उन वीरों को जिनकी वजह से भारत गणतंत्र हुआ जिनकी वजह से भारत गणतंत्र हुआ तो आखिर रिपब्लिक या गणतंत्र का अर्थ क्या है प्यारे बच्चों रिपब्लिक शब्द लैटिन शब्द रेस पब्लिका से बना है जिसका मतलब है लोगों से संबंधित यानी कुछ ऐसा जो लोगों से जुड़ा हुआ हो और अगर हम इसे हिंदी में समझें तो गण का अर्थ है लोग और तंत्र का अर्थ है व्यवस्था अर्थात लोगों की व्यवस्था रिपब्लिक या गणतंत्र एक ऐसी व्यवस्था है जिसमें देश लोगों का होता है जिसमें सरकार लोगों की होती है आज देश का प्रत्येक नागरिक गणतंत्र दिवस को बड़े ही हर्ष और उल्लास से मना रहा है सभी देशवासियों के लिए गणतंत्र दिवस न केवल एक पर्व है बल्कि गौरव और सम्मान की बात है यह दिवस हर भारतीय का अभिमान है अनगिनत वीर सपूतों ने अपने प्राणों की आहुति देकर 15 अगस्त सन उन्नीस को अंग्रेजी हुकूमत से हमें आजादी दिलवाई आजादी के पश्चात देश को नियमित और सुचारू रूप से चलाने के लिए संविधान की आवश्यकता थी जिसके आधारभूत देश की जनता निर्धारित नियमों और कानून का पालन कर सके तो इसके लिए डॉक्टर भीमराव अंबेडकर के नेतृत्व में स्थापित समिति में शामिल हमारे दिग्गज राजनेता जैसे पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल डॉक्टर राजेंद्र प्रसाद इत्यादि सहित दो सदस्यों की संविधान सभा ने 26 नवंबर उन्नीस को हमारे देश का संविधान पारित किया इसीलिए 26 नवंबर उन्नीस को 
कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन डे या संविधान दिवस के रूप में मनाया जाता है पर अभी तो संविधान पारित हुआ था लागू नहीं और लागू करने के लिए चुनी गई एक ऐतिहासिक तारीख 26 जनवरी 1950 क्योंकि ठीक 20 साल पहले इसी दिन 26 नवंबर 1930 को भारतीय राष्ट्रीय कांग्रेस ने हमारे भारत को पूर्ण स्वराज घोषित किया था गणतंत्र दिवस एक ऐसा अवसर है जो हमें अनेक वीर वीरांगनाओं और हमारे पूर्वजों की कुर्बानी की गाथाओं और संघर्षों को तरोताजा कर देता है प्रत्येक भारतीय के अंतर मन को झिझोड़ते हुए देश प्रेम की भावना जागृत कर देता है और हमें प्रेरणा देता है कि हम यूं ही विविधता में एकता और अखंडता बनाए रखें इसका अद्भुत दृश्य और प्रमाण हम देख सकते हैं 26 जनवरी को कर्तव्य पथ पर भव्य गणतंत्र दिवस समारोह का आयोजन हमारे राष्ट्रपति झंडा फहराते हैं ध्वजारोहण के बाद इक्कीस तोपों की सलामी दी जाती है कर्तव्य पथ पर निकलने वाली सुंदर विचित्र अद्भुत झांकियों में हमारे भारत की विविधता में एकता की झलक साफ दिखाई देती है आजादी के पश्चात देश ने विभिन्न क्षेत्रों में उन्नति की है इस बात में तो कोई संदेह नहीं है परंतु आज भी हमारा देश अपराध आतंकवाद गरीबी बेरोजगारी भ्रष्टाचार जैसी समस्याओं से जूझ रहा है तो यहां आवश्यकता है हम सब देशवासियों को एकजुट होने की और हमारे देश को इन समस्याओं से बाहर निकालने की ताकि हमारे स्वतंत्रता सेनानियों और संविधान संस्थापकों का सपना साकार हो सके और एक श्रेष्ठ और विकसित भारत का निर्माण हो सके अंत में मैं अपने शब्दों को विराम इन पंक्तियों के साथ देना चाहूंगी कि चलो फिर से वह नजारा याद कर ले चलो फिर से वह नजारा याद कर ले शहीदों के दिल में थी वो ज्वाला याद कर लें कि जिसमें बहकर आजादी पहुंची थी किनारे पर जिसमें बहकर आजादी पहुंची थी किनारे पर देशभक्तों के खून की वो धरा याद कर लें देशभक्तों के खून की वो धरा याद कर लें जय हिंद जय भारत धन्यवाद Get ready to feel the pride and joy as our young Josephites are all set to guide us through a patriotic musical journey. Please give a warm applause as they take the stage to add an extra touch of nationalism to our festivities. <laughs>
paid a fitting tribute to the motherland through their song. That was indeed a delightful performance. It's time to review in the enthusiasm of our spirited fellow mate, the Vyanchi Singh, as she takes the stage to share her thoughts on Republic Day. A big round of applause for our young speaker, the future of our nation. Morning, Reverend Father Ronald, Reverend Sisters, respected teachers, and all my dear friends. Our flag stands for freedom, and we are so very proud. When it waves in the breeze, it usually draws a crowd. Today, we all proudly stand here to celebrate the 75th Republic Day of our country with the theme. India, Mother of Democracy, and Vixit Bharat. Republic Day in India is celebrated every year with great pride on 26th of January to honor the Constitution of India as it came into force on the same day in the year 1950. It had replaced the Government of India Act 1935 into the governing document of India. The new Indian constitution was sketched and approved by the Indian Constituent Assembly and decided to celebrate it on 26th of January every year as India became a republic country. The constitution of India empowered the Indian citizens to select their own government. The oath was taken by Dr. Rajendra Prasad as the first president of India at, at Darbar Hall in the government house. India was declared as a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic, becoming the world's largest democracy. Republic Day is officially celebrated every year in the presence of the Indian President in the national capital of India, New Delhi, at Rajpath, now called Kartavya Path. Parade held in New Delhi especially begins when the Prime Minister of India pays tribute to the Amar Jawad Jyoti at India Gate. It is done to commemorate the sacrifices made by our Indian Army soldiers while saving the country. This year's mega parade at Kartavya Path will feature two all-women contingents from the Defence Forces, that is, from the Army, from the Indian Air Force and from the Indian Navy. Also, the President of France, Emmanuel Macron has been invited as the chief guest to attend the Republic Day celebrations in the national capital. Republic Day is the symbol of true spirit for the independent India. Every citizen of India is a pillar on which the legacy of Republic of India stands. Let us celebrate this special day with nationalism in our hearts and in our conduct too. And with the realization that freedom is not free, it is worth the price our martyrs paid. On this occasion, let us all take an oath to maintain the sovereignty which our country has achieved with priceless sacrifices and pray for the prosperity and unity of our country. With this, I conclude my speech, wishing you all once again a happy Republic Day. Incredible! Nothing can beat the enthusiasm, the excitement of this little charm from displaying her love for the nation. Now I introduce an exhilarating display of discipline and energy as our talented Jodhavites are going to present an energetic drill. These young champions are ready to infuse the spirits of Fit India in our celebration. Let's welcome them with a thunderous applause.
champion, we take the field down. Unify us, make us feel proud. In the streets, our heads are lifting. As we lose our inhibition, celebration, it surrounds us. Every nation, all around us. morning to all of you. Thank you. First of all, my hearty congratulations to a sister here, our headmistress, all the teachers, very especially very especially the teachers who have uh, prepared the students for such a wonderful performance. Dear teachers, I am so much uh, proud of you. And uh, with given the little time that we have 
It was so amazing to see our young children responding so well. Skit, so beautiful, very beautifully presented. Then we have amazing yoga show. Did you, you remember yoga show? Are you still listening to me? Okay. So we had a very good uh, yoga presentation in which we saw how our young children of uh, seven, eight, nine years old children are doing wonderful things here. Can everybody do this? Sab log aisa kar sakte kya? No, very good. But there were children who were doing on the stage yoga presentation. Log, ab, abne bache yoga kar rahe the na yoga? Hai na? They were climbing on each other. They were giving lot of presentation and they were stretching out their bodies, lot of gestures. And those children were able to do, but you can't do, or everybody from you cannot do. I cannot do. Why you cannot do? आप लोग क्यों नहीं कर सकते योगा? जैसा उन्होंने किया? Practice. Okay, see, very good, है ना? Practice. More than practice, yoga requires discipline. You know discipline? Yoga requires a discipline. There are rules. There are rules. There are regulations to learn yoga. So the teacher, yoga teacher, our Kalindri madam, she will be telling you people, when you have yoga period, don't eat and come. Have some liquid diet and come. Because today yoga period is there. Then she will describe you this thing to be done, that thing to be done. You have to sit on the soft uh, surface, yoga mat. Lot of things she will tell you. And, after, and she wants all of you to follow these instructions and learn all those postures she is doing, sh she is showing you. So first she will tell you to stretch your hand, then leg, then body, then different parts of the body. It all goes step by step. Then only we have children who can do these big, big things here. But you cannot do that. I also cannot do. All of us cannot do that. Because all of us do not follow the rules that yoga teacher tells us. Agree with me? If you have heard me. You agree? Ham sab na? जिस तरह बच्चों ने योगा किया नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि हम लोग योग करने के योगा करने के जो नियम है उसका पालन नहीं करते हैं यदि हम भी अपनी योगा टीचर का कहना सुनेंगे जैसा वह बोलती है करेंगे तो हम लोग भी उसको कर सकते हैं आप भी कर सकते कर सकते हैं ना यस देन वी विल लर्न इट एंड सेम प्रिंसिपल इज एप्लीकेबल टू आ कंट्री आ कंट्री ऑल्सो इज रन बाय वॉट Rules and regulation in the skit, our children very beautifully, meaningfully and so clearly described, you know, in a kind of a conversation. They described to us what is the meaning of converse, sorry, constitution, what is the meaning of Republic Day, what is constitution and how this constitution came into play. So the success of every country depends upon the amount of respect, sincerity we give to our constitutions. Just like, just like our yoga presentation will not take place without, uh, present, uh, without rules and regulations, without following the rules and regulations, our country also cannot reach to its uh, potentiality if we do not follow our constitution. Thank you so much for such a mesmerizing pre presentation. As I said, whenever I come to a primary section, I, am, I feel so happy. I am always impressed by uh, you people, very especially teachers, don't repeat anything here.
I have seen mostly 80% of presentations are new. That also shows that our teachers are always looking for something new to be done. Okay? Dear teachers, of course, our students have done these things, but I know the people behind preparing these children are you. Thank you so much. Keep doing this great work you have been doing. May God bless you. May God bless our country. Sare jahan se acha. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Thank you. Thank you, Father, for your motivating words. In the corridors of education is hidden the destiny of our nation. This celebration marks our contribution towards the unity, pride and the spirit of being Indian. The national, the national anthem evokes a sense of dignity, reinforces the collective values and the history of the nation. I request everyone present here to stand in attention for the national anthem. Thank you. 